across the vast northwest, man. Did I do it right? Oh, you're fine. And today we have Pepper Belly Chili Pepper Blonde Ale from Triple Horn Brewing Company. And they're based out of Woodenville, Washington. Woodenville, Washington. And it clocks in at 6.9%. Chili pepper beer! 6.9%, were they going for something there? Yes. They're going for 6.9%. <laughs> you got a lot of head there. I did, I didn't pour it right. Well, you're supposed to, if you want to break it, we can pour it. Yeah, but. Anyway, I'm. Take half an hour for it to. <laughs> yeah, I'm being a snob now. Anywho, I mean. Good color, it's proper blonde. Uh-oh. Smell it. Oh dear. It smells like pepper. It does. At first I got a hint of peanut and then I was like, what's that all about? Then I took a bigger smell. Yeah, that smells like pepper. That smells like spicy pepper. Pepper Parkers. Alright. See what it tastes like. Doing pepper beers, they're never good. Yeah, it's almost like a nutty flavor. Yeah. Slight tingle of, of spice. Yeah, it's not overly spicy right unless you're just super sensitive to capsaicin, but yeah. it's it's not all that great, folks. I'd have I'd give it a one and a half or a two. It's not very good. Yeah, I don't think I've ever really had a pepper beer that I've really dug on that I can think of. I give it about a two. Yeah, it's it's and if you really want pepper forward in your beer, go for it. If you really want acid reflux while you're drinking, have at it. Yeah. <laughs> keep take a, keep some Pepto. You do some Pepto shots in between, like a Pepto chaser. Oof. Mm. That's going to mix real well in your tummy. <laughs> you ready for chuggability? Not really, but let's do it. Chuggability! That is really hard to chug. Oh! Uh. Ow! That mm. burp hurt. <laughs> that was oh. a spicy burp. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not going to vomit, but that upset my stomach. Ooh. Yeah. Not chuggable. Ah! Ooh, if I kept chugging it, I probably would vomit. That's... Uh. That, that is upsetting my stomach a lot. I got a tingle in the back of the throat. Ooh. It doesn't, it doesn't burn excessively. There's there's a tingle, but it's not terrible. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think what to equate the burn to. Like, because takis are stronger than this. Yeah, like the the fuego takis are stronger. Like not even the fucking pickled jalapeno. It's not even that strong. Yeah, like Taco Bell mild sauce, maybe. Nah, it's strong. Their mild has no tingle at all. And it's their hot sauce, it's not but as yeah. much as the fire. It's not the Diablo or whatever it is. Well, it's not as much as the fire either. Yeah. You know, I think I saw something the other day, I'm not sure if it's real or not, but they're coming out with Taco Bell themed beers. I don't, I don't think it's sanctioned by Taco Bell though. Like I don't think like I think they I think they changed the logo and, and the shit just enough to where it's not like gonna get them busted for copyright infringement. Yeah. It's not like yeah, it's it's not even as I'm bad as like Tapatio or the Louisiana hot sauce or anything like that. It, yeah. It's you know, say it, it's not even that strong. It's it's under those. It's just a it's it's a tingle. So. Like if you're a white dude from like I don't know Nebraska, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it might hurt. <laughs> not to say anything bad about oh well, fuck, what am I talking about? You got any Jewish in there? Anyway, but, yeah, it's 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 not that hot. Yeah, it's pretty. It's really mild. It's not that bad. I mean, there's a tingle. It's still there, but it's it's not like it's uh, it's it, it's it's really nothing. It's not yeah. painful. Anyway, yeah, I, I give it a two. It's yep, two. Too, and it's not, not good. Very it's not. Yeah, it's not very well balanced. It's. I mean, if, if you want super forward pepper in your beer, uh, please more power to you. Not my thing. So. That was a foamy burp. Mm. Bonus drink. Dun dun dun. We're gonna take down one of these. Buzz balls. As opposed to space balls. Really are a buzz ball. 
Okay, yeah, you've probably seen these in the liquor store or something like that. Need no, not much introduction. We've all seen them. I've never had one before. It's all on the shelf. Said fuck it. Let's give it a shot. Oh, this is orange. This is orange wine with cream and other flavors. And why is it called? Why is it called cocoa? Why is it called Choco Chiller? Maybe it's orange Choco chocolate. Chiller. I don't know. Let's find out. We'll have to try them both. I mean, I'll try mine. Oh, all right. my nail. Okay, for once being girly. Oh my god. Help! <laughs> oh yeah, that's oh, orange. And that, that smells, smells boozy. Fake AF. <laughs> oh yeah, that is. That's some fake ass pineapple if I ever smelt it. Orange wine Orange wine with coconut. Oh, there is coconut. I don't mind the flavor though. <laughs> it smells like the pina colada thingy you hang in your car. <laughs> that shit you get when you get your car detailed? <laughs> yes, it's totally what it Yeah, it does! Like. It smells like <laughs> Little Tree or something like that. Ew. Uh, let's see what fucking detail tastes like. It is. It's okay. Ugh. Ew. Ew. Ugh. Orange wine with coconut, pineapple, uh, and lime juices and other natural flavors. No, sir, I don't like it. There is nothing natural uh, in this thing. Yeah, uh, when you smell this, you can tell there's nothing natural. It totally smells like that damn like pina colada a, car air freshener. Look, there's a party in my mouth and everyone's throwing up. Oh my god, it's terrible! <laughs> it's not just me! Oh! I know, right? Ugh. Oh my god, that is awful! Oh man, I think I've tasted Mad Dog oh, that tastes better than that. Mountain Dew <laughs> tastes better than this. Crab juice tastes better than that. Oh, oh right. my god. I'm gonna get rid of that flavor. Oh my god, I'm, I'm so sorry. This is a women owned company. And this, oh, I don't want to talk bad about a woman owned. You, you know, avoid the pina colada. The, the chocolate chip is pretty good. Yeah, the chocolate one is alright. This tastes like fucking ew. It tastes like death. Seriously, I've had Mad Dog taste better than that. I don't think Four Loco tastes better than that, because Four Loco tastes like some shit you could use to degrease an engine with, but... <laughs> uh, so, if you're going to get Buzz Ball, would... avoid Pineapple Colada Chiller like the fucking plague. Wow. Um, Get yourself a Choco Chiller. Choco is not half bad. I feel like there's some kind of odd dairy in it. Kind of scares me. But we made it. Yeah, because they don't refrigerate these. They're just on the shelf at the at the liquor stores. But almost like a almost like a mudslide. Yeah, <laughs> almost. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, so much other good pineapple one. Terrible. Yeah, it's like a if you can imagine a mudslide with a just a tiny tiny bit of orange in it. That that's what this tastes like to me. That's about half bad. I can I could get around that. Although it tastes like hangover, so be careful. Yeah, there's a lot of sugar. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Root Trekking. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell so you can get notified of when we post more episodes. Bye! Pepper Belly Chip.